everyone. Thanks for joining me for episode six of the Mobile Memento series, How to Scrap on an App. Past videos have been mostly for small scale projects like pocket pages and project life, but today I'm gonna show you how to make a full sized layout for free. But again, I'm not counting supplies because you purchase those anyways. If you're wondering where to purchase digital supplies and how to load them onto your phone, please check out episode five. So today we will be making this eight and a half by 11 page, but I'll also explain how to modify that for a 12 by 12. So step one is to download and open PixArt. I have indicated before that it is very ad heavy, but I think it is completely worth it. Being able to scrap out somewhere waiting in line is a total great game changer. So step two is to click the plus size but bottom button to create a new project. Scroll on down to the color background section and pick your color of choice. I usually start with white out of habit. If you're making a 12 by 12 page, then stick with this. But since I'm making an eight and a half by 11 page, I need to change the ratio. So I'm gonna head on down to tools, then select crop and then select the two by three ratio. I'm gonna hit it again to make it two by three and then hit the top check mark box. So again, if you're making a 12 by 12, skip that step. Step three is to change the amount of pixels located in your project by hitting tools again, and then resize in that bottom row right there. Now we have to increase the number of pixels so we get a great print quality. PixArt doesn't have capacity for larger than about eight megabytes, but that still leaves us ample room to work with. And because I always forget how many pixels goes with which resolution page, I have bookmarked this very handy website that's called nationsphotolab.com. It is a free and easy generator that just automatically tells you what pixels you more or less need. And it has a comprehensive list of any size print you could ever want. So for my eight and a half by 11 page today, I need somewhere between 1063 by 1375 and 2550 by 3300. Now this is an approximation. I'm gonna go ahead and head for the 3300. You see it's not the 2550 in width, but it's very darn close. So again, not that you have to remember any of this, but I would definitely recommend bookmarking this for future reference. Let's go ahead and see what it would be like for 12 by 12, just so you can see. So this would be the range that you would choose. I would probably input 3000 pixels. I think that is what Pixar would allow, the maximum that Pixar would allow. So now I'm going to add my photo elements by hitting add photo in the bottom left hand corner. For this project, I have everything on my phone, but for a comprehensive collection, I have begun to upload everything on Google Drive. So I would definitely recommend creating some sort of storage account on there so you can keep track of everything and save on phone storage. So here are all of my elements for the collection that I'm using. I'm going to select them and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have all my elements here. I'm just gonna move them all towards the bottom. So I have a decent workspace. Kind of have an idea as to how this is going to be set up already. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Now, if you want to change the order of things, you head on to the top layers button and hit move up or move down, depending on which way you would like to move your elements. And do the nature of you working on a small space. Sometimes you want to hit an element and you miss. So my advice would be just to not get frustrated and just tap outside of the workspace and try again. Just as a side note, you definitely don't have to select all of your elements at once. I'm only doing this because I already had a good idea as to where everything was gonna go. Okay. 
You can definitely zoom in on smaller elements by taking your two fingers and pushing them apart if you need to zoom in on something that's a little bit smaller. Now, this element in particular, I don't want to use all of it, so I'm going to crop it exclusively by hitting the crop button below. And I'm only going to keep a few of those lines. Now we'll select my photo. There it is. Okay, so now I know I don't want it to be that wide, so I'm going to crop it. Again, by selecting the crop button below, I'm just cropping it slightly. So I'm pretty sure this is where all of my elements are gonna go, so I hit the top right check mark box check mark of doom so I am free to add another 10 elements but I think I'm gonna call it good but I did eye a really cute staple there it is and I know I'm gonna want one on either corner so I'm gonna head back up to the layers button and hit duplicate to give me a second staple I'm gonna resize and zoom in I'm going to zoom back out and do the same thing with the other staple. Now I'm going to do my journaling. I'm going to do the date stamp and I'm going to save it to my gallery just like I did in video five and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have my journaling and I have my date. I have saved it in PixArt and I've loaded it into my gallery. So now from here, if I'd like to print it out, I'm going to send it to my printer by hitting share. So I'm going to share it. I'm going to locate my printer, which I have an Epson iPrint. I'm going to make sure that in the top right hand corner, I have the correct paper, which is eight and a half by 11. Now, for some reason, I have had this little triangle error, but that is just because I need to update my phone. It has nothing to do with the printer itself. So this is what your layout is gonna look like. If you'd like to move it over or anything like that, you can do that. But all that would be left is to hit print in the bottom right hand corner. Conversely, if you don't have a photo printer and you use a printing service, you can upload the photo that you have saved into your gallery directly into your photo printing service. Just make sure that when you do, you select the appropriately sized paper. And here is the page printed out. The quality is great. There's absolutely no pixelation. I do have my own photo printer at home that I did a lot of research before buying. So if you're interested, check it out below. Otherwise, thanks for stopping by. I really hope I inspired you to do something different today. Have a wonderful rest of your day.